Hi, it's Ty from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book to read for you. Today, book of the Rabbit and Next for 1978. So let's get started. Jenny stood on her porch. She hugged Bradley, then carefully tucked them inside her jacket. You'll be better soon, she promised. We'll go into the ammo hospital. Jenny walked past two houses and turned in at the next front walk. She stepped before a big red door and read the sign, Doctor is in. Jenny pushed open the door and stepped inside. She looked around the doctor waiting room, which was bright and busy. She saw a large brown dog laying at the feet of a large man. The dog with the dog big brown eyes looked sad. Nearby a small golden hamster would curled up a sleep in his cage. Then she saw another dog, but this one was very little, and sat on a woman's lap. A fluffy black cat with long white whiskers and round green eyes stared at Jenny. The old man who held it was stroking it fur. Jenny walked carefully around a little boy sitting on the floor. He had something in his cupped hand, a tiny turtle. Jenny sat down on a bench out like a bench beside a girl who had right who held on her soldier something wrapped in a baby blanket. The blanket moved in two bright eyes peeked out of a ruffle bonnet. Five little fingers reached out and pulled the girl long hair. That's a funny baby, Jenny whispered to Bradley. She asked the girl, is that your monkey, wait, is your monkey sick? Yes, said the girl. She had a cold. A doctor, or a door opened on the other side of the room, and Jenny saw an an office with clean shiny tables in the middle of the floor and bottles of medicine lined up on a shelf. A woman in a white coat came out of the office. Hello, doctor, said the large man. That's the doctor, Jenny whispered to Bradley. I bet you thought the ammo doctor was an ammo. Rex is first, the doctor said. The big wait, the big man led the big dog into the office and the door and the doctor closed the door. The little dog yiped. The fluffy cat hissed and wiggled his whiskers. The monkey covered his, her face with her hands. The turtle took lowly wait, took slow steps along the floor. And the hamster only turned over in, in his sleep. Soon Rex returned to the waiting room. He smiled at me. Jenny told Bradley, and she smiled back. The doctor took out my dog aching tooth, said the big man. Now he'll be well now well now he'll feel fine. You're next, Miss, Mrs. Stone, the doctor said to the woman. What's wrong with little Fifi today? I think she had a stomach ache, the woman said. She wouldn't eat her dog cookies this morning. The fluffy black cat hissed and stared at the woman. The monkey frowned. The turtle drew his head inside his shell, and the hamster went on sleeping. <coughs> little Fifi and her owner went into the office. In a few minutes, they were back. The doctor was scolding. Fifi isn't really sick. She just ate too many sweets. She must eat more balanced diet. Jenny peeked at Bradley inside her jacket. You're a good boy, 
you never bake for treats. The hamster is next, the doctor said. He looks very tired. Hamlet won't play on his wheel anymore, said a teenager boy. He's all run down. Jenny felt sorry for the hamster as she watched the boy carry the cage into the office. Suddenly, there was a loud eow, and the fluffy cat jumped down on the floor. The monkey chattered and leaped off the girl soldier. The cat began to chase the monkey around and around the room. Watch out, the little boy cried. Don't step on my turtle. Quickly, he picked up the turtle and put him on Jenny's lap. Will you hold <coughs> Dinky, please? They might kick him and hurt him. I hope Bradley isn't jealous, Jenny thought. She patted the turtle. The doctor, who had hurried out of her office, trapped her hand. Stop it. Stop the wait, stop that race this minute. Then she turned to the owner. You people simply must control your pets. The cat and the monkey were taken back to their places. The little boy took his turtle from Jenny's lap. The room was quiet once more. In a little while, the boy with the hamster came back. Hamlet feeling better, he said. He took some medicine. Soon he'll be running at night the way he used to. The doctor said... Peep is next. Time for his shot. The old man put the fluffy black cat under his arm and followed the doctor into her office. The shot will keep the cat from getting sick, Jenny explained to Bradley. You don't need a shot. The monkey is next, the doctor said. Jenny walked through a crack in the door. And the doctor put her spectroscope against the monkey chest. The doctor listened. Here is some cloth medicine, the doctor said. Give it to her once a day and keep her out of draft. The girl wrapped the blanket carefully around the monkey and waved goodbye to Jenny. The turtle is next. The doctor said. Jenny heard the doctor give the little boy instructions. Let Dinky swim around in the salt water, as I told you, and his eyes will feel better. The boy and the turtle left. Jenny waited quietly. Soon the doctor came out, but she was not wearing her white coat. When she saw Jenny, she looked surprised. Oh, were you waiting for me? asked the doctor. I thought I had seen all the animals for today. Oh, please, Jenny said. The rabbit is next. The rabbit? The doctor looked puzzled. I don't see a rabbit. She looked around the room. She looked behind the door. She looked under the chair. Where's the rabbit? Here he is, cried Jenny. His ear is hurt. A tear fell on Bradley's fur. Can you help him? I always have time for one more six ammo, the doctor said. She sat down in a big chair with Bradley on her lap. This is an unusual case, explained the doctor. She took a needle and some thread out of a black bag and began to sew up Bradley's ear. With neat stitches, he is good as new, said the doctor as she finished. Jenny held out her arm for Bradley. She hugged him and put her ear close to his face. Jenny smiled, a very happy smile. Bradley said thank you. You're welcome, Bradley, the doctor said. And Jenny and Bradley 
and the doctor all went out the big red door together. So that was The Rabbit and Next for 1978. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment. Have a groovy day. We'll never be able to come out real soon.